Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is more No Rest for the Living for the PC, played through GZ Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty setting. This is Map 3, Canyon of the Dead. What are the demons doing in this canyon? Well, the answer will be revealed, and unfortunately, it is not a pleasant answer what they were doing in the canyon. But we're going to find out, and we're going to clear the monsters away, because that's what Doom Guy does. We don't tolerate no crap. Anyway, this map was designed by Russell Meekum, and um, it uses the music track by uh, J.D. Herrera, I believe, if you're using the No Rest for the Living MIDI pack that I have available in the description of this video to download if you want to use the same music that I'm using. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's get to the video here. Alright, here we are with some pretty kick-ass music here. Uh, level 3 Canyon of the Dead with 102 monsters, 5 secrets, and 102 items. Wow, lots of stuff to do, but don't worry, I am here to guide you through it, so let's do it. There are a couple of shotgunners here, I just take care of them with the chain gun, and also chain gun all the rest of the imps that are in this area as well. Shouldn't be too difficult, especially from the left side over here. And there's also a mancubus you can snipe off. I like to use the back side of this switch as my hold point here. And now he's dead. Now this door cannot be opened by normal means. You have to actually flip the switch. That will open up the door, but also the next door as well. Grab the chain gun if you're doing this from a pistol start. Now what I do in this room is I just take a step inside and let all the platforms lower down by backing up. And I switch to my regular shotgun here to deal with all the imps that lower down. See, they're funneled by this area, so... They can only come from one direction. There are also, yeah, two specters. And when they come for you, just switch to your SSG. One more specter. Let's go ahead and chainsaw him. And one more imp. We'll chainsaw you just for good measure. Now in this room, there are two things to note. The first of note are there are two yellow or two blue doors. Uh, we'll get to them shortly, but um, let's find the switch near the dead mancubus and have your chain gun ready for a lot of enemies. At least make sure the chain gunners go down as best you can, and then retreat. Wait for these walls to lower down as well. Now sometimes, and sometimes not, the revenants will come for you. And when they do, have your SSG ready for them. There are three revenants, basically. I use the chain gun here to mow down the gunners. There's also a Hell Knight inside of there. And we'll explore his room for all of the items. Now I meet the other enemies at this area. And I just use this corner and this corner as my two hold points from the Revenants and the Hell Knight as well. And where these guys came from is the blue key, so we will grab it. Get stocked up on some 
shotgun ammo here. Might as well. It's free for the taking. Now, about the two blue doors. They eventually do take you to the same area, but I like to open up the left one over here. What's neat is you can climb these little mounds and look through to see where you'll be going. Follow the trail of health bonuses through the cave. Snipe off a couple of imps. Then what we're going to do, normally I wouldn't deal with all the enemies out here, but there is one enemy in particular we're going to deal with. We're going to run in and run back out and alert the pain in the ass elemental. You could take him down from below, but I take him out from here. Just like that. More often than not, he will not release his lost souls because he's so close to the wall. Then what you can do is you can stand here and snipe off the imps. Now eventually, if you step in and fire, they sometimes take a while, but four cacodemons will teleport into this area, or at least one of them will, and I'm waiting for that to happen. Way over on that cliff, he should appear. There he is. And there are four cacodemons actually in this area. And you can stay here quite a while, actually, and take them all out. But I like to... I guess he went in that cave that was in this... in that large mound. Okay. I guess I only kill one of them for right now. Or two of them. Yeah, like I said, four cacodemons, but we killed two of them. Now, opposite this entrance is your first secret area. And that has a computer area map and some health bonuses. We'll wake up the two cacodemons and... Yet again, we will take them out. Ooh, that cackle, or that imp corpse, got crushed. But we will not drop down below here, and we will not drop down below here. That's not the purpose of this blue door. Rather, that purpose is designated for the other blue door over here, but I want to gather up some ammo first. It would be wise if you do the same and get as close to max ammo as possible before going through the other blue door. So basically the rule of thumb here is the left blue door will take you to the top of the canyon of the dead and the right blue door will take you to the ground level of the Canyon of the Dead. <laughs> now through here, I like to do this methodically. I like to peek around the left corner. There's one of the cacodemons. Peek around the left corner, but don't go any further than this first area. And just let all the enemies come for you. This is what I do use the chain gun and a uh, regular shotgun if you want to. But be patient, there is no rush, unless you're trying to speed run this map. Or show off, whatever you want to do. But once all the ground enemies are dead, yes there's an imp way up there, now what we're going to do is go around the next corner for a revenant. I like to use this pillar as my hold point. This is a secret area behind the ammo box, but we'll get to that. Now in this center area, the most important item of interest is going to be the box of rockets, so make sure you grab that. And also, 
What's interesting is you can go up on the ledge with the box of rockets and scoot your way over here and, well, the cacodemon corpse is blocking me, kind of. But you can snipe off. Or right here, actually, is better. Right down here. You can snipe off an imp that's on the top of that slime fall. Now, about the Mancubus. Let's run in, make sure that shotgunner dies. And then about right at the center, marble, uh, sacrificial area. This looks like an altar where they would sacrifice, um, hopefully not humans. <laughs> or animals, for that matter, but... Oh, yeah, right about this center, uh, altar, sacrificial area, I like to snipe off the Mancubus. I will show you how to get the Soul Sphere. That's the secret area behind the ammo box, but we'll do that later on. Now up here is a lowered bridge, and I like to take care of the Arachnatron from here. Just sidestep when he shoots, and you should be okay. There's one more enemy we're going to snipe, and that's in this cave. And every enemy is now dead. All right, in this area, that is. If we notice, there's a rocket launcher way over there. That is where we're going to go next, after we gather up some more uh, ammo, 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 around here. Also making sure to grab up all of the armor bonuses that are scattered around the canyon floor. Like right over here. And there's also a stash leading to, yep, right here, leading to the rocket launcher. So we'll zip on over and we'll grab the rocket launcher. You should have 11 rockets by this point. Now what we're gonna do is go beyond the yellow key area and kill the Mancubus. Now you can use rockets if you want to, maybe one, maybe two rockets. Right in the center of the groups of imps. Yes. None of them jib though. That makes me very disappointed. I'm a disappointed pony. And we'll just snipe the rest of these guys off, why not? Now, we're not going to go over there just yet with the radiation suit. What we're going to do instead is go back behind us for some goodies. Much needed goodies. Not really, but they do help us. The ammo does, at least. And now we're ready to grab the radiation suit. And, oh yeah, the Arachnatron. You can use a couple rockets on him. I like this uh, platform right here to snipe him off. There we go. He is now part of the dead. He is part of the Canyon of the Dead. We'll inch our way forward. Don't grab that suit just yet, but we'll drop down in the nukage. Follow the trail of health bonuses and rockets. Love this music track so much. Now don't grab the yellow key just yet. What we want to do is drop down to the armor bonus platform because there is a secret with a berserk pack. I don't need the berserk pack, but I will grab it anyways. And now we can grab the suit. And you can lower down this elevator instead of having to go all the way back up. It's a shortcut, if you will. And now we'll grab the yellow key. And lucky for us, the yellow bars and switch are right here. And that lower or that raises the bridge 
to the ruins. Let's go investigate the ruins, shall we? We cleared out the canyon, but now comes the ruins. So we've made our sacrifice. Now we cross the bridge. Now from here, what I kind of like to do... Oh, the Hell Knight woke up too. Fancy that. Okay. I try and take care of some of the imps that poke their heads up, but the Hell Knight, I'll leave him alive for right now. And that should be all the enemies dead. There are some armor bonuses on the left side of the door, so make sure to grab those if you're going for 100% like I am. Now, the wooden door leading to the ruins will lower by itself. Try and get the Mancubus, maybe? Yes! Oh! Don't, don't hit me! Kill the Mancubus from down here, grab the rockets, and all of the... Oh! All of the ammo. Here comes the Hell Knight. Now, what I do, there are a bunch of imps up there, or at least some imps. What I do is I just creep my way up and systematically snipe them all off. Just like that. Oh yeah, it's okay if you don't want to do it this way. But this is the way I do it. Yeah. Don't go any further than, than these steps, though, because... Well, a vicious trap ensues. If you don't trust yourself with the next battle, or you're low on health, uh, you can skip forward in this video and actually find out how to get the Soul Sphere and the Mega Armor to help you out, but... Until then, let's do this trap. Here's how I do it. I stand right here, or at least right in the center here, and fire rockets as the wall lowers down. You'll see what I mean. The wall lowers down, I get in my position, and I just let them have it. The main enemies of interest are going to be the Revenants. The Mancubus and the Hell Knight, they can be managed, but I have a problem with Revenant rockets, I really do. Attention to detail with the Cacodemon bodies up there is really cool. Wow, we're entering the ruined fortress, if you will, and just for the heck of it. We'll punch you out. Don't exit just yet, we got two more secrets to find. This is that Soul Sphere and Mega Armor I told you about. Let's get the Mega Armor first, since that's in some nukage. So, to get it, what you need to do is actually go back to the bridge. Now, at the bridge, there's a sinkhole in the nukage on the left, and also on the right. In either of these pits, there is a teleporter. Or at least, a piece of a teleporter. I'll show you. See? Right there. So we'll take it into this cave. Press the switch and that will cause some stone stairs to start rising. See, there's the mega armor inside there, so let's go. No, I don't want to be sacrificed. No, thank you. No, get that knife away from me. I will zip up here and we'll grab the mega armor. Now, about the Soul Sphere right here. I'll gather up some shotgun ammo. It's behind the ammo box. We're now at 200% and 200%. I could use some more shotgun ammo, though. I do want to be topped off. I like being topped off. 
when I go inside of a like a fast food restaurant and I order some food and and it comes with a drink um, and they give me an empty like an empty uh, um, what's it called empty container I fill it up at the drink machine and then I'll sip on my soda while I wait for my food to be made and then when they give it to me to take out of the restaurant I'll refill my uh, my cup yeah that's how I do things around here. All right, we're topped off. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, first, we'll make sure we have everything. Yes, we do. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. And that was Canyon of the Dead. Um, 19 minutes. That's a pathetic time. Um, normally you could get this map done in six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes, something like that. Um, <laughs> but this is, this is not for those who want to go fast. Uh, this video was intended for those who maybe aren't so great at Doom like I'm not. <laughs> and they just want a strategic way to beat certain maps. And this is one of them. Um, I bring my playthrough to a crawl. I am not good at sniping enemies and shooting enemies in the open like the canyon here is. I don't want to be part of Canyon of the Dead. I mean, it seems that this canyon was used as uh, for sacrifices, maybe of humans, next to these ruins. This map is awesome. The aesthetic, the... the wondering what in the world were they doing in this canyon really makes you enjoy this map and just there's not a dull moment in this map it's one of the best maps in this series so far I keep saying that but it really is so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope uh, if you had trouble beating this map I hope now it's a little bit easier for you to beat so anyways we will move on to Hell Mountain. Oh my goodness. We're now inside of the ruins that we entered. So, that will be for next time, though. So until next time, yes, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I will see you when I see you guys in the next No Rest for the Living walkthrough video. So, take care, everybody.